Greetings, goons, gangsters, and gamers! It's your boy with the LaCroix, the Good Sir Knight, today doing a video in one take. One take. Something important, not tactical gear, but something that definitely brings more of the tactical gear shooting community together. And that, my good friends, is morale patches. So, morale patches come in all different shapes and sizes and from a variety of companies. And they started to really pick up, um, I'd say around the time I EAS'd is when they started to get particularly popular. Back when I was in, you didn't have too many morale patches and the companies that are out there today weren't nearly as well known or didn't even exist in some cases. So generally what we had when I was in is, uh, Marine Corps wise, all you could really get is a little kill patch. A little tag up here, throw on your play carrier. And that was it. There was a patch company on base. Well, I particularly can't foster out here. They made a few patches. Um, there's a few companies that make uh, cool secret squirrel patches. And, uh, of course, you can always get your patches for space balls. All very important stuff, but it wasn't really until I started looking around a bit, and I remember Weapons Grade Waifus was one of the first companies that started really putting out like some really crazy patches. But today, our video is less so all about these crazy reviews and more so talking about patch companies I've ordered from in the past that have done really cool jobs, really good work, and that I particularly like. And we're going to kind of talk about them and uh, what I know about them and stuff, and there's going to be quite a few. So every now and then in the different uh, discussion groups and everything, I'll see someone come in and asking, hey, I really like patches from this company. What other companies would you guys recommend? And it turns out a lot of the uh, patch companies, they're all buddy buddy and pretty good friends and I think that's a cool little camaraderie thing they got going on so we're gonna be looking at these different companies I got them all nice and organized on my floor semi-professionally <laughs> and we're gonna kind of go through it talk about them a bit talk about things I like and uh, kind of like what they're doing and interestingly enough as I mentioned weapons grade waifus being one of the first like real patch companies to get everyone's interest sort of going kind of igniting the fire say the tinder light they uh a lot of the patch companies can get incredibly horny. <laughs> We're going to be uh, bonking away pretty hard at a uh, horny jail, so... I'm not going to show it for YouTube, but there will be links throughout the description for all of the uh, companies we're going to be talking about today. So if you want to go look for yourself... Well, they're at the, sorry, down there. You don't even need to finish the video, but... Let us get started. So first and foremost, being out here in Okinawa... I came across my good buddy, and we're gonna call him Mr. Sacom. And Mr. Sacom, he makes this cool Nako Beam hat. That is pretty baller. He actually makes my Good Sir Knight coat of arms that I drew up, designed, and he actually put all together and made it look really, really nice. And he's a pretty cool guy, kind of like a pinnacle of the um, Okinawa community. And he would be incredibly embarrassed if he was to translate all of what I'm saying into Japanese, but he does fantastic work. He does um, more of the... Uh, what should I call it? Green, save the environment sort of thing, which makes sense. Okinawa is supposed to be a beautiful island, but he's not the, hey, let's go blow up a pipeline sort of environmental activist, but more of the, hey, I'm going to get some of my buddies together. We're going to go clean up all this trash in these common fishing areas and various parts of the island, throw it all together in a bunch of trash bags. The government's like, hey, you're doing our job for us. We'll come pick that up for you. So he does a lot of really, really good work. He is ultimately an outstanding guy and also... Aside from just patches that we're going to be talking about, he also makes his own little, was it the fishing manga here? What was it called? It's a Lucky Cat's Fishing School. So a combination of, well, actually, this is a little Mon character there, too. Great guy. So fishing cats, obviously, he really likes fishing. He knows his fishing stuff. And um, he actually makes really, really good artwork and everything. This would be a pain to translate, as I probably should one day, but... Good books, they do also include a little bit of Airsoft in there, because, you know, Airsoft is really big out here in Japan. But, perhaps most importantly, is he makes a little something. Is that a mosquito? Really? Bruh, I'm in the middle of something. Get out of here, you freaking nerd. Got him. Alright, but also he makes something. I know, I got the anticipation going there. Everyone knows what it is. Almost. No one knows that he makes them. And that is these little Mon Neko cats. Designed after his little sniper mask thing there with his big old eyeballs he throws on his little ghillie suit. And they were originally made by his grandma, and now they are made by his mother. And yeah, he can never get enough of these made to meet, uh, meet demand. But they're pretty well known, and they are pretty fantastic also. I got Velcro my hat. I do have Velcro my hat. So the rest of the video, he's going to chill up here. 
because it's one of the more important things. But yeah, it makes all that cool stuff. And let's see, what else we got? I got a little bag here of all the different things he's made so far. So we're going to take a look at some of those. And obviously, first off, he does make the Satcom Works official patch. He gifted that one to me uh, only recently while we are hanging out. Um, he made our old uh, airsoft team little uh, fitness test to make sure everyone was in state and shape. He does make the uh, main airsoft store out here, Spark. He makes their official patch. Uh, there's, let's see, what else do we got? He makes the cool heart, I heart weapon of choice here. Patches, he makes, uh, let's see, there's all the old team patches. He makes, um, I actually really like this one. This is a cool one here. He makes his little cat patch. And, of course, he has his whole Lucky Cats fishing school patches. These ones are a little bit dirty because they've gone with me through the woods multiple times. And, of course, we got this one. So, most of these are going to be uh, Velcro attached, but it does also make uh, iron-on ones. So, if you want to, like, iron them on the clothes and stuff, that's where you get stuff like this one going on, so... Yeah, it makes really cool stuff. The only uh, key issue we've run into <laughs> with uh, Mr. Sackom is that he cannot export these patches. Like, outside of Okinawa. Well, I guess Japan. He can send them, like, all over the place in Japan. But he cannot send them to, like, let's say, Canada. So, <laughs> I've actually helped him out a few times in the past. Well, once particularly. I've helped him out to get the patches sent out to uh, people overseas that he otherwise would have lots of great difficulty. He also doesn't um, doesn't do too much English, but we're trying to find a way to get a really simple, efficient system so he can start getting his patches, and more importantly, his cat plushies, out into the international market, because these are well-loved, and most people don't even know where to get them. Of course, there's also the supply issue, but working all that stuff. So he's a cool guy. Cannot recommend him enough. So that concludes our SACOM portion of today's brief. So, moving on, without any further questions, the next person we're going to be talking about isn't in Japan, and isn't even in the States. The next person we're talking about is someone I've been chatting with quite a bit, and that's going to be Stormcrow Supply. So Stormcrow Supply sent me a bunch of really cool cards. So let's look at some of the artwork here. So of course, Stormcrow Supply... I have no idea what the characters are even named, but all I know is that I love them to death. So you got, obviously, Wolf Girl, Wolf Girl important, and uh, Storm Girl Girl. We got four of the same card there. Oh yeah, and the ever important Awu. So, <laughs> Storm Crow. So Storm Crow, like a lot of the other companies, they don't just make uh, patches, they also make really cool stickers. I would show you some of the stickers, but they are all on my Pelican cases and Longboard. They do have this really cool... Thunderbird! Stormcrow official patch. I like this one. Big square shape. Uh, they do have the tiger stripe uwu, reflective. And uh, yeah, also one I thought was really, really cool is the uh, Storm Protocol patch. And this was actually the first time I started seeing these uh, cool barcode setups. I know, um, was it Black Powder, Red Earth? Yeah, they make really cool ones too. I've got some of their little tags on my helmet and stuff. It's a uh, it was interesting. The first time I saw it, I was like, yo, that's actually... I don't know, something about the industrialism to it. It really makes me happy. Also, they made a... One of the key things that really, really got me to order is they make physical Dogecoin. <laughs> I put this one in a custom case. Or is this the original case? No, this is the original case. They do make uh, custom cases that I picked up. They got the other coin in. They sent me two. I was going to... I got to send this one to one of my buddies back in uh, Illinois. I think she would appreciate it. But yeah, Stormcrow. Stormcrow makes really cool stuff. Particularly, I like this one. Particularly because, if you remember my patch, I really like to mix the uh, blue and green aesthetic. And Stormcrow also makes well, a blue and green. Moon's out, goon's out patch. And it's great. I love the uh, the diamond setup and everything. So, Stormcrow makes really cool patches. When I initially ordered from them, <laughs> it took a uh, considerable amount of time for the patches to get here. I was like, oh man. The Stormcrow patches? They're they're here now? Oh, okay, that took that took a minute. What took so long? And I look at the I look at the package and it's like C'est la vie, mon quoi. Au quoi. And uh yeah, there's lots of uh, French writing on there. It's like, oh these actually came from France, so they had to go on a long extended tour. But yeah, Stormcrow. Really cool guy. And uh Yeah, really cool guy. That's all that's all I really got. But he's definitely, um, he's definitely up there with making the really cool patches. I got, uh, 
I keep most of his patches and stuff going on the uniform pretty much 24-7. So, moving on, the uh, group that kind of set the fire for all these people to start buying morale patches, weapons grade waifus. And the reason I've got this camera set up like this is because there's way too much horny that we cannot show on YouTube. And I'm not going to, uh, I don't want to put in too much of them. I'm just going to kind of like, well, these are all wildly inappropriate. <laughs> uh, weapons grade waifu definitely gets the uh, maximum number of available bonks for uh, design, so. Let's see, what's not going to get my channel demonetized? We can put these together here, move you over here. So, we're going to stick with the uh, the safer patches. And generally, their uh, their main character being Saori. Pretty well known. They do make a green and blacked out patch of her. And of course, they like to put emphasis on the Pantsu. So, there's that to take into account. But they do also make a bunch of really, really cool patches. Like, things that really got me into them was uh, their attention to classic anime. You do have Cowboy Bebop out there. See you, Space for Cowboy. That's a classic. Do love that one. And of course, back when uh, Pokemon Go was really going, they had the uh, whole Safari Zone anti-poaching anti -poaching unit. And of course, they do make these cool little uh, weapons grade waifu pouches. You know, the little, uh, was it the Shima Pan and the uh, Glock combination. That fits actually really nicely on your pro, which is what I mostly saw it used for. Yeah, they do, uh, they do do some, um, oh, what even is that anime? I can't remember. This is the problem with doing things with one go with only, like, one, one uh, no script, is, uh, they do the, oh, what was it? It was the whole Darling setup thing. They had to make a double patch for that. Shabam! So, the name's eluding me right now. I haven't watched, I haven't watched anime in a hot minute, but, yeah, there's, um, quite a few more patches here, but, uh, we're not... <laughs> We're not, just, just go to the website. Just, just go to the website and uh, sate your curiosity there if you're over the age of 18. Because, <laughs> yeah, I can't. I can't risk the channel. They do have, of course, their cool weapons grade waifu card. And, of course, the classic WGW Shimabon. And there, the guy who runs it, he actually um, he does come out to Japan quite often whenever he gets a chance. And he'll do a bunch of airsoft with the kids up in mainlines. And unfortunately, it's always been during the time I cannot go. So, that is cool though, they get out there. They uh, hang out with all the cool airsoft kids and they have a pretty good time, so. Classic, I'm always, they're always posting stuff too, they're crazy. Alright, I forgot to put the Wonder Woman Wifu card back in there. I gotta keep these organized. Alright, so, up next, we will be discussing. This isn't like an order of like favorites or anything, it's mostly in the order. It's a little bit in the order of favorites, but it's mostly just in the order I could throw everything together. I was like, peering through them all, I was like, oh yeah, I really like that design. Let's slap that on. Oh, actually, gotta move this one around. This took a, this take, this, I've been at this since February. I'm taking a lot of time. So next up, we're going to be talking about another favorite of mine. Absolute territory supply. And if you can, uh, if you remember that image, you know pretty much exactly when this card was uh, designed. And this, I ordered this game with the order. A very important order, because I actually really, really love this, is they put up this post as like, I just don't agree with radiation poisoning. What? Oh, you held a rock and now you feel bad? Grow up. And I was laughing for days, like, concerningly so. So, of course, on the back of the card, like, they tell you not to, but they're wrong. Uranium gives drinks a yummy, minty flavor, but they won't advise to do it. My reading's great, I swear, it's, um, yeah. Yeah, they also had, uh, look at this other card they had, too, the Absolute Territory Supply card. They also had this cool little one. A few more, uh, German camo, right? German camo? Yeah, pretty sure German camo design sort of setup. So, cool stuff. Cool, cool stuff. Oh, yeah. So, the Territory patches, so. They, of course, like, most of these, most of these uh, companies we're going to be talking about today, they do have Instagram and Twitter. So, feel free to go give them a like and a follow. But, of course... It's not just the really cool radiation rock that had me laughing hysterically. Uh, k -On came out and actually had their whole anime adaptation going on the, the, pretty much the exact same time I came to Okinawa. So k always kind of had a special place in my heart from QI and stuff. So when I started to see k -On patches, this was the, about the first time, and I was laughing hysterically. Everyone loves Mugi. Mugi's great. Uh, they do have the Alstafo bean patch, so if you can't find an actual Alstafo bean, because on eBay, they all go for insane amounts of money, you can get an Alstalfo Bean patch. 
which is pretty much the same, except it's like flat and uh, doesn't have the same El Stafo Bean curse. Uh, Destiny patch, really cool design. I'm sure it's from something important, but I never really bothered to find out. And of course, back to Kaon, Yui, peace was never an option. With an M1 Grand. Yeah, so. They do make other patches. I haven't had a chance to order them just yet, but they're pretty, pretty cool. Absolute territory supply. So, moving on. Who's up next? Up next is another classic company. They got, they, oh yeah, they, these guys do Kaon too. So, up next is Aho Works, which is uh, Japanese for a hole. <laughs> if you're wondering where uh, Aho ever comes from, of course, they got a. Uh, They've also got cute anime girls, which is a key selling point for pretty much any patch company. And you've got your little diamond cut design on the back there too, so... I do like the look into the peering into the glass thing right there, that's great. But uh, what do they got? I don't have too many patches from them. I need to... Uh, with a lot of these companies and stuff I need to get more, but they do have the Confused Yui classic patch. And of course, VTuber wise, I, I don't actually watch VTubers, but I do think they're interesting. They have a watermelon, which just by the shape of being designed as a water as a watermelon, I didn't even know need to know what was going on. I was ordering that, and a classic for um, for um, for my special people out there. They've got the user was banned for this post. This is a very important patch. <laughs> it's very very important. So yeah. Aho works. They make some pretty cool patches. Definitely recommend also checking them out if you ever get a chance. They're um, they're not terribly high on for the uh, horny factor. I don't think. Yeah, they didn't get as many bonks as some of these. Uh, I think so far all they've really gone through only weapon grade waifu gets the crazy amount of bonks. But there are other bonkable companies coming up. So moving on, one of the uh, earlier patch companies I was starting to order from immediately after like weapons grade waifus and my buddy Sacom is Unlimited Patchworks. Actually, there's a... I put notes on here because most of these patches are all over my uh, helmet and stuff. So first off, the first patch they made, it's also their little logo and everything that's really, really important, is uh, Genetically Engineered Cat Girls for Domestic Ownership. And this patch is important because it actually made people very, very, very upset <laughs> in certain chat groups. And... <laughs> oh, I can't, I can't even get into it, but... A lot of people are like, domestically engineered cat girls, no, that's, you can't do that, that's illegal. So, it's, it's an important company. Of course, you also got the Nagatoro uh, Senpai patch throwing a flashbang. And those are the only two I have in this bag because the other ones, let's see, what else I got? Oh yeah, they make the, they do make the rock or something patch, but they make a few others. Ugh, they're important because they're on my lid. And first off... And pretty importantly is the Berserk Sword, located right there above the light. And they also make the Metal Gear Solid Life Bar. All very, very important stuff. And don't worry about the uh, the patches up here, we're going to get to those here in a second. But yeah, they make those patches and they're great. Those only small ones, I like how you can just sort of fit those in wherever. But yeah, Domestically Engineered Cat Girls, another great company. Can't recommend them enough. Moving on, there's another company I found shortly after them. This was kind of like a whole experiment back in the day. This is what I started to notice. Wow, there actually is quite a few patch companies out there. And this one, one of my buddies recently sent me from some patches from them. And that is, of course, wood patch. Identifying wood. <laughs> so wood patch, as you might guess from the name, well, first off, they do make patches out of wood. Let's uh, cover up part of that. They make patches out of actual wood, which is kind of cool. But um, yeah, they also have stickers, and it does get a bit into the horny side. However, and most importantly, they did a whole series of these. When someone like did all these designs up, they did a whole series on them, and unfortunately, they've been sold out forever because I've been trying to get the whole set because they are beautiful, and that is the, uh, the whole Valentine's Yandere Operator Series. This is the only patch I have of the set, but it is great because is, I want to detain you indefinitely. <laughs> that was the entire theme to it. It is great. All these patches come with like pink and obnoxious colors, and they're wonderful. And of course, they got a little bit of Starbucks going on, but we're only going to do a quick flash of that one. My buddy actually got me some patches from them, and only really two of them are safe to show on camera here. The first one, being very important, is from the uh, classic hit of Samurai Jack. 
with Aku shines the phone extra thick with the extra eye beams. Pure gold. And of course, another poor one from another important anime. Yes, we're gonna consider Samurai Jack an anime. So of course, if that's an anime, you also have to remember King of the Hill is an anime. You got Cacklin going on there with uh, what's his face? Um, what's his face Hill? Ah. Uh, Forget things under pressure, it's wonderful, isn't it? Um, you know, I was actually like, going like, oh yeah, it's uh, Cotton Hill. He won't forget his name on the first try while doing the video. But yeah, Whitpatch. Uh, they make, they also make the uh, thick thighs save, thick thighs save lives, both as a wood patch and a normal morel patch. And my copies have disappeared mysteriously, so those are on the uh, back order. Whenever they come up with more of the. Uh, Remember they come with the rest of the Yandere series when they get restocked? I gotta get me one of the, more of those uh, thick, thick thigh save lives patches. Those were important. Mm. Man, I should have done this on one of the cooler days. It is hot. I can't have the fan going. So ne next is a patch company that one of my buddies is actually friends with the uh, the guy who runs that, and of course they're quite obviously more so marine oriented in the fact that they are called Senpai Fi. Yes. Yes. Senpai Fi. Now you know. It's a thing. And yeah, they make some really, really cool patches. Let's see, what do we got here? Actually, yee, let's, um, so we can't show that one. There's a few bonks going on with Senpai Fi. A few bonks. Well, of course, they got good stuff, like, uh, the very motivating Senpai Thighs. Or Semper Thighs. Semper Thighs, that's right. Of course, you got the flag back here. We can't show that one on camera for too long. And, uh, they got, uh, Tadaima. Fun little kick in the door with a shotgun. Classy, classy stuff. There's other good ones here, but as with most of this video, you're going to have to go to their actual website and look them up. Well, apparently my buddy's friends with them. He was drinking beers with them not too long ago. Sent me a picture of that. That was pretty cool. And, uh, yeah, so they make cool, motivating stuff for you guys. Up next uh, is another marine-based company. And the crazy thing about this is I only have, like, one patch from them. But the crazy thing is, they probably make about two to three patches every day for anything and everything that comes out, every world event, they're making patches. They have an insane number of patches, and the best part is, when I got an order from them, it came with a bubblegum crayon. So of course we're talking about Patch Ops. Patch Ops are their cool veteran guys, and the reason I ordered from them is because they made something to go with the whole Tactical Plague Doctor setup I had going on, and of course you got Plague EDC right there. So, yeah, I, I would show you a lot more. There's an insane number of patches they got, and I just don't have the time or the money to order them all. But I would be remiss not to tell you good folks about patch ops. Good stuff, and uh, generally on the uh, very, very base end of things. So they don't they don't mess around. They're good guys. I like them almost as much as I like Lacroix. Holy hell! Up next. Is, uh, I actually ordered from these guys because uh, Stormcrow recommended them. And I was like, oh, hey, that's pretty cool. And they've also have sent me a few comments over Instagram and stuff. And that is Badger Hound Supply. So Badger Hound Supply, pretty cool guys. Obviously, friends with uh, Stormcrow. So I went through some of their designs, and they've got uh, it the Operator John little bolt going on. So, you know, if your boyfriend doesn't know what, what, what this is, then you've got a girlfriend. Oh, another classic that I like to wear is the uh, six feet back or six feet under. They have a few crab themed uh, designs going on there. And of course, not to be forgotten, the Sky King. So those are the uh, main patches I got from them. I do actually, I really like this one. The uh, bolt design makes me happy. But yeah, Badger Hounds, they're doing some stuff. They're actually doing a sale right now, if you guys are fast enough. So definitely recommend them. A lot of cool designs. They also do the, if I'm not mistaken, let me check my notes. Yes, I do have notes. Not a script. It's just notes. There's another badger hound. Badger hound. Do, do, do. They, did do a, they did do a thing with Flork. They made a Flork patch. Flork is everywhere. Flork is great. Um, they do, that's a badger hound. Obviously, badger hound. Badger. So, badger, mushroom, snake. They had tarot card patches that are fantastic. And they sold out almost immediately. So... Otherwise, I would be showing you all three right now. They are fantastic, fantastic patches. But yeah, Badger Hound. Cool stuff, cool guys. After them, 
was the other recommendation from uh, Storm Crow Supply as well. And that was for our guys down at Skinwalker Supply. So Skinwalker Supply, most of their patches I wanted to order were out of stock at the time. So ordered the ones that they had that were cool that were in stock. The 102nd Joint Awu Force. And of course, you might uh, you might recognize this little guy here, the Doom Slayer patch. It could totally be upside down right now. Nah, I'm pretty sure that's right set up. But yeah, Doom Slayer patch. So, you know, if you ever got way too much heavy metal and a uh, double barrel shotgun in your vicinity, you can make a patch for that. And yeah, they seem like pretty cool guys. I haven't heard like too much from them, but gotta recommend them nonetheless. They're cool guys. Um. So here's another classic. Let me see, where's the uh, notes I got on these guys? Waifu Dynamics. Mostly because they've got uh, some, I guess they got like a contract going on with Alma 01. So they make a very, very cool Vaporwave Alma patch. Yeah, with the whole Waifu Dynamics of the bomb. It is a very, very aesthetic patch. And of course, I'm showing you guys this while my Pit Vipers are on the table over there, but yeah. Yeah, cool, cool patch. Um, they also have the cool Devil Horn patch. That reminds me of my uh, my good buddy back in the States. He would love stuff like that. So yeah, they've got some really cool patches up on their site. Gotta recommend them. Oh, actually, I can't read that font. That's way too small. Yeah, Waifu Dynamics. They've got very, very aesthetic patches. And stickers! I can't show you the stickers because I'm only going to pull my Pelican case over here. It's too hot. But they got really cool uh, holographic stickers and stuff like that, so. Mm. Very good, very good. We got, uh, what do we got? We got, like, two more packets. And then we're going to talk about, like, two other patch companies. And it's going to say, ah, yes. Violent Little Machine Shop. They're definitely on there. Violent Little Machine Shop is, uh, it's violent. Not necessarily little. And, uh, they have some pretty cool... <laughs> Oh my god. Oh, this is one of my, this is definitely one of the, uh, one of the great ones. So, first off, they make an NPC patch, angry NPC patch, to, uh, well, you know, make people very, very upset. Classic there. Um, I'm not even going to mention where this is from, but, uh, you guys can go ahead and find some stuff like that. Um, a classic, they do make patches if you're trying to, uh, you know, like hang out and be an Instagram model and uh, play airsoft with some kit with uh, all the cool guys on the weekend. They make a fun patch for that. Um, a fun patch that reminds you that this patch has been deleted for uh, making Facebook very unhappy because it doesn't follow their political agenda. Pretty based, pretty based. They have a 007 N64 patch. So yeah, golden eye. An actual design there. This thing is crazy floppy. I can't get it to unbend. <laughs> I don't know how to get it to unbend, but it, they have the cartridge and it's great. Reminds me of uh, reminds me of good times. Good times. Um, there's an important patch here. Probably the most important patch they have in existence which is uh, make communism illegal again. Because I very much, uh, pretty much the root of most problems. And of course, the patch that they won't let me wear to work anymore. I'm not even supposed to be here today. Yeah, so... <laughs> they make some pretty fantastic patches. They have a lot of options out there on their little shop and stuff. Yeah, but the... They make some of the more important patches that I like to, uh, wear around on the daily, so... But that little machine shop. And they send you cool stickers a lot of the time, too, so... Pretty legit. Uh, PK Patchworks is definitely on the list as well. They make some, uh... They definitely make some of the hornier patches. Where's the uh, less horny ones? Let me sort through these a bit. So they have a cool one. Um, if you can read this, you're about to get kicked in the head, gas mask guy. I should know what that's from, but here's the internet. You oof. Classic. Um, an important one. Vibe check with Megumi. Fantastic little patch there. And of course, one of their little nighttime is the right time patch. So there's more. I can't show you. <laughs> But there's more. Most of this video is going to be me telling you they have really cool patches and you need to check their website. Because I can't show you to them. Or YouTube will destroy my account. And we don't want that. Because, uh... Well, I guess I guess I mean they could. So whatever. But those are like... The main pouch... The main... Ah! Main patches, they got bags. Most of these companies also make shirts, stickers. Especially if they got like the word supply in the name. Wink. 
Here's one of the important things with Storm Crow Supply. Is there one of the uh, few people that actually do a rerun on those old clacker lighters that hopefully they could get more of in the future? Fantastic. Hmm. So moving on, the last two companies I really want to talk about today is, well, I guess one's less of a patch company. It's going to be the Echelon Software, the guys who do the whole video game stuff for uh, Black Powder Red Earth. As I mentioned, they have a bunch of patches and stuff out there. They're a little more uh, PVC sort of like set of patches, but they are pretty phenomenal nonetheless. And, uh, I think the game's probably the most important part, but also most of, a pretty important, unique company out in Canada. Oh no. Canadian company. Um, patch panel. And they don't, like, make, they don't make any, like, I don't know how you worry, not the, like, cool, fancy designs we were looking at earlier, but they do more of a, uh, custom work for, like, name patches and stuff, so. If you need to get something made, I only ordered their IR Reflective stuff. And I, even then I got the premium IR. So this stuff, if you shine IR on light, light on it, it'll blink, it'll light up and let your buddies know that, hey, friendly, please don't, please don't uh, ventilate. And for that IR light, it's just pretty basic M81 Woodland, so. Yeah, so those are the key patch companies I want to talk about. You got another one over there, those for Tactical 2D. And of course it's 2D from the, uh, why can't I remember the name of that anime? With the whole darling thing going on. They made uh, Green Eyes see Thick Thighs based pretty sure off of Garen Thumb. But as a anime girl, because you know. You haven't made it in life until someone on the internet is drawing anime girl art of you as a character. So Yeah, so that's all I really got for you guys today. Those are the uh, patch companies I wanted to talk about. Um... Well, I also had a, uh, who was it, freaking, um, 30 Seconds Out doesn't really make patches. They make really cool shirts, really cool stickers, most importantly. No, they do make a, they do make a patch. I have one on my backpack. They do make a really important patch, and that's one that says, no one is coming, it's up to us. And they are really self-reliant. Like, hey, do stuff for yourself. Don't always expect someone to bail you out. And that's just really motivating. So I gotta throw them in there. They're on the back end. But they can't be forgotten. They're still important, so... That's all I had for this video I've been wanting to do. Been putting this off since February while I jam a ton of notes together and then try to organize all these patches because I bought all these patches over the course of... Well, I've been buying patches since, like, what, 2014? And I wasn't, like, organizing them based off of who I bought them from. They just all went into a freaking big old box. And they got put on gear and stuff, so... This whole ordeal was mostly to be like, oh, hey, yeah, those are some cool patches. Yeah, I want to actually do a whole shout-out for all these really cool companies, so. That's the video. I guess I can take this guy off now. See if we can get more of these. But, uh, yeah, so they make all these cool patches. So if you guys are looking for, if you got some spare Velcro spaces, and you gotta throw some uh, stuff on there that's not work-related, then there's plenty of patches out there from these outstanding companies. Can't recommend them enough. So that's all I got for you guys today. I hope you're all having a fantastic June 12th? It's June 12th out here. I don't know about the rest of the world, but June 12th. Yeah, so it's a holiday, I guess. Yep, that's the little video. I don't have anything else for you. Then manga. Yeah, so. Cheers, everyone. Stay chill for us. Um, the links are all down below if you want to check these out. If your favorite patch company made the list, let me know. Go ahead. Comment that down below because uh, they're all cool guys. And um, if your favorite patch company did make the list, well, there's a lot of patch companies. And these are just really the ones that I've had the pleasure of dealing with in the past. So there's other cool ones. Also, drop them down there. Even if they did make the cut, drop them down there. I'll go check them out because patch companies are a bunch of really cool guys for the most part. And uh, I... Hope they all succeed financially. Yeah, well, really, succeed in every conceivable interpretation of the word, so. Cheers, stay chivalrous, and, uh, I got a pun. I don't remember the pun, but it involved Nya somewhere in there. We'll be fine. Cheers, everyone. Peace out. Ah!